Okay, my friends, I'm going to do a quick video here based on an idea I just wrote up on Twitter. So it's going to take one second to draw this up. So let me just drag in the screenshot of the tweet. So this idea of communication as a valve, good communication opens the valve, increasing the flow of resources, poor commu communication closes the valve, obstructing the flow of resources. So if you think about, well, let's just visualize that for a second. You think about, let's say this is the valve here. I'll just give that a little definition. So on the right hand side here, we're going to have like, you're going to represent your business. left hand side is your market so there's a certain amount of demand that exists in the market for a product that does what your product does so let's actually call this market demand and your ability to capture that demand is wholly dependent on your ability to communicate. So let's say you have a huge amount of built up demand for the product that you're building that's sitting there behind this valve. Oops. And your communication is what releases the pressure on that valve. So if you're able to transform this valve to be fully open here, your best communication, all of those resources, all of that demand, you can capture that. If you're not able to do that, let's say you're going to get that to, you know, the communication is a little weak. You might capture a little bit of demand, but you're not letting the entirety of that market demand make its way through to your bottom line. So a very simple concept. The idea here being that communication is such a high leverage idea and such a high leverage principle in whatever your business is that focus on increasing the quality and the clarity of your communication and you will capture more resources, more demand, and even generate more demand. So there's a there's kind of a self-fulfilling feedback loop on the back end here. So just a quick metaphor I wanted to share with you. Let me know what you reckon. Thank you very much.